Hey guys, it's Julius from Spectrum Topics, and today I want to do a video on what Xbox or what Microsoft needs to do now since Sony has announced their PlayStation 4. What they need to do to um, match the PlayStation or overcome the PlayStation um, on the future generation consoles. So now that PlayStation 4 was announced on February 20th at the Sony uh, press conference, um, it, I believe, for one, it set, it set the bar. Uh, it, it, after the PlayStation 3, um, it, it was really good. It sold 70 million copies around the world. Um, really, it had really good exclusives. But I think where this PlayStation 3 failed is in the is is on Sony. Um, they have huge. They have a lot of first party studios: Naughty Dog, Sucker Punch, Sony Bend, um, Sony Santa Monica. They have awesome first party studios that they own that make games just for them. But they they don't advertise the game. How many of you? How how many of the people watching this knew that a new Sly Cooper game came out this month in in February? I mean, no, you you just didn't see any commercials. How many of you have seen commercials for PlayStation All Stars that came out in November? Both of those are games that scored above eight. Um, those are really really good games. Um, we're seeing ads for God of War. Uh, we're gonna see ads for Last of Us, but if they really want to succeed, they're gonna need to advertise their games, and I think that's where Microsoft really does well. Is you you when Halo Gears of War launches, you you know that's a, that's a mass media event. Uh, you see commercials for that everywhere, uh, and they they do that for most of their games. And I think that's where it's, Microsoft is really going to do. They're, they're going to step it up, have put their great marketing minds on this, which I know they will. But I think what they're going to do is what really enticed me for PlayStation Four is the integration between. Uh, it and the the integration with the Vita, um, the integration with the Vita, uh, where you can stream games, uh, and it has its own. Hopefully, they're gonna pick up more uh, games on it, entice developers to work on it. But to being able to just quit off on a game and pick it up in on your Vita, any PlayStation Four game is real. That's a big upside for me. Um, I think Microsoft really needs to work on that somehow with their Microsoft Surface tablet or just a smart smart smartphones where because with streaming you, you know the console or the handheld or whatever you're doing it on isn't doing the work it's getting it from a server the a server on the where you're connecting to is doing all the work and it just streams the content to your device just like uh Netflix does with movies um and I think uh, other stuff that Microsoft needs to work on where they need to do when is uh, press competitively. Um, they, I, they, I know they don't have a problem with this. I know Sony has a problem with this. Um, like we saw with PlayStation Vita and PlayStation 3 notoriously. Um, but I think Sony has learned a lesson, and they already said they're going to be very competitive with their prices and they're open to changing it. And I think Microsoft needs to be able to take a hit on, on when they f first make the console. And what I mean by that is when they make it, uh, it's it's going to probably cost more money to make the console than what they're going to sell it at. Saying, for example, they might make it make the console at six hundred dollars and they, or maybe at five hundred dollars. They have to and they sell it for four hundred dollars. I think they're going to have to do that until for a while until they make you know they're going to start making their money back eventually. Um, they're both the con both the uh, uh, consoles are going to need to really be competitive with their prices um, to really stand out from the you know from each other. The next thing is that the this goes for both of them uh, is launching first. It's going to be one or the other. We we both you know I doubt it's going to be the same day. Um, that's that would be too wild. But these consoles are going to have to launch really close to each other. The reason why, um, since Sony, my PS3 has sold uh, 7 million copies world, worldwide, but is 
really lacking behind in the U.S. to Xbox is because it launched a year later than the Xbox 360. Uh, everyone else had 360s when the PlayStation 3 came out, and when it did come out, it was 600 bucks. So, they're re- both of them, both Sony and Microsoft, are going to really need to be competitive with their prices. Um, Microsoft needs to continue what it's doing and not really let up. It's ahead right now, but Sony, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 were the number one console in, in their respective generations. PlayStation, the third generation of uh, Nintendo's console fell off. The or it was kind of a fall from where the previous generations were. The third console in Sony's generations was a drop off from, the, from theirs. Maybe the pre- next uh, third generation Xbox will be a fall off in, from previous generations. But check back, uh, check back on the this channel and Spectrum Topics for more videos like this. Like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to this channel so you'll have a constant feed of all videos, next gen, new games, gameplay, reviews, all that stuff, podcasts. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Julius from Spectrum Topics.